you can see, I have one eye already done, and I look kind of silly because it's a very bold look. But today, I wanted to recreate Jamie Greenberg's um, look on what she did on Kaylee Cuoco for the Grammys. So let's get started. And it is for contest, so if you want to enter, it ends on May 10th. And I'll have the link to the contest below, but it's not my contest contest, but you can win a lot of mark goodies. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. Um, I would like to start off by telling you though, it's okay if you mess up, um, but don't do this look if you don't have any Q-tips left because you moved them all already because it's finals week, which is what I did. Um, but that's okay. We're going to start off with Please Hold Eye Primer. And you just apply that with your ring finger. Like so. I'm going to edit over here. You can't really tell any difference from Jamie's look and mine, but she didn't do this. But I'm going to. Um, I'm going to use Whisper at the all over my lid. Just so when I put the black on, I already have the whisper going on up here. It's a kind of a highlight. So the first thing I want to do is have my, like a base coat. So what I'm doing for that is corset, which is this color. And that's the darkest, like, powder eyeshadow that Mark has, and I'm going to wet my brush a little bit, um, and this brush looks kind of funny when it's wet, but like so, and just get it on my brush, and just go all over from the crease down. a lot darker when it's wet. And you don't have to worry about this too much, it's just kind of providing the base for the other products. So it's important, but it doesn't have to be perfect. And if I were you, I would probably do it with a little bit smaller brush than this, which is why I'm going to take my little eyeliner brush from Marc Jacobs by Sephora and get my other stuff. business card, you can take a business card or a um, credit card or anything like that and just put it on your eye like so. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, and you want to, you know, you can have whatever angle you want. I can't see. Um, I'm going to go ahead and like so and continue to just use it in corset I didn't have a mirror for that so I have no idea what that looks like yeah that looks okay Can you bring it out a little more um, and then make sure it connects with my whole lid like so and fill in that little triangle. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is take 
um, marks keep it going in entourage and using the black part of course um, using the same brush to do that over again and I'm going to get back my little card here And then just fill it in. Um, this is a eyeliner brush by Marc Jacobs by Sephora, but I really need to get another one because it's kind of frying on the edges and causing me to have some issues when I'm placing the product. So replace your brushes, people. And we're just basically coloring in the lines. It's grown up coloring. Alright, and I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of this and put it down below as well. Do that on the other side too. making sure they look even. This line looks a little different than this line, but that's okay. Nobody's going to notice. Unless you tell them like I just did. So don't do that. Um, and then the next thing and the last thing we want to do for this is take On the Edge in Cleo and just paint it in again. just helps it give like almost a glossy finish. I don't know how to describe it, but not exactly glossy, but just less hmm. chunky, I guess. Not that the makeup is chunky. Mm and it helps it stay on. Now you got three layers to go through instead of just one. And be careful and don't blink your eyes really hard until it's dry. But if you do, no biggie, just take a washcloth like so and be really, really careful. Or even better, you can take um, a Q-tip and some makeup eye makeup remover and do it that way. There we go. And I lied, there's something else we're doing for eyes. But don't worry, it's your favorite thing. We're doing Lash Act Mascara. And I'm only going to use one side because I broke mine because I I'm really rough with my makeup. I just leave it in a bag and tote it around all the time. You can add fake lashes to this if you're gonna do this for prom, but uh, I have really long lashes so I don't really deal with fake lashes. Alright, so now that we're done with the eyes, um, 
let's go ahead and do the face. I just want to let you know, I know that one of my eyes looks bigger than the other one, but that has nothing to do with the makeup. I checked. Um, it's, that's just how my eyes are sometimes. And I noticed it in other beauty gurus' videos, so I know I'm not alone. So if you think you're alone, you're not alone either. Um, but yeah, that's what I have to say about that. So now you know what we're going to do. Um, if you are doing this for prom, I would suggest looking at my flawless face routine. Um, I posted it a long while ago, but it's still good other than instead of using Get a Tint, you can use Got the Goods and that'll give you a little bit of extra coverage. But for this, the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to use my uh, Powder Buff in Light 3. If I was doing an Impro Favorites, this would be in the Favorites, but this would be in the Favorites every month. And that's kind of why I don't do favorite videos because... They would just be the same thing all the time. I'm just gonna kind of stiffle it on and buff it out at the same time. I'm all multitasking. Make sure you go into your neck. You don't have a line, nobody likes a line. And then, as you probably guessed it, I'm going to use the powder brush in Cameo, which is actually what she used on Kaylee Quoco. So, glad I chose a nice blush, right? And since this look is so dramatic on the eyes, I'm not going to do much else, but I am going to do a nude lip, and I will be using Juice Gems in Juicy Fig. She used a lip click in Bear Hug, which I also suggest, but I don't really wear nude lips enough for me to buy it, so... And these taste good anyway, so... Is the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and you are having a fabulous Monday, as hard as that is. And good luck on finals if you're taking finals. And have a happy prom if you're using this for a prom look. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Hi guys, I'm back for just a second. I just wanted to give you tips on what kind of prom look to use this for. Um, I would use this look if you're going for super, super glam or super, super rocker chic type of look. Um, or it would be really good for anti-prom because when I think of looks like this, I think of um, Jenny from Gossip Girl and she, I'm pretty sure, had an anti-prom and was all like, Brr. so. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'll talk to you later.